Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. I had to record episode 18 right away because I'm super stressed out about this match. And also, episode 17, I am just gonna say, is probably gonna go down as one of my favorite episodes in season two. I felt like an ice cube the whole episode, okay? My body, full body chills, the goosebumps were just going crazy. You name it. There was lots of impactful moments, okay? I need to take a deep breath. I'm too excited. So we are gonna finish off this match, I think. Who knows? Um, Inoshita has replaced Daichi. He is like really working hard to pump himself up here. Dude's a little bit nervous, um, but he is a leader and he is, you know, showing up in big ways for the team. Uh, Yamaguchi, who knows if he'll get a chance to come in and serve again. He did get a trickler ace and then bailed out and went with a safe serve, but he learned his lesson. I don't think he's going to do that again. So we're going to see if Tanaka is able to stay with it mentally. I think he's feeling a lot of responsibility for Daichi being hurt. Um, but I am confident the title of this episode, however, has me worried. Um, season two, episode 18 is called Losers. Yes, this is also bringing back me memories of season one, episode 16, which was called Winners and Losers, which is one of my all time favorite Haikyuu episodes so far. So maybe it's just gonna be like a really big feeling episode. I'm not gonna, again, I said last episode, I wasn't gonna look into the title. I'm gonna try not to this time, but I'm not hopeful. So anyways, we're just gonna see what happens here. So we're gonna dive in today to Haikyuu season two, episode 18, Losers. But it doesn't mean anything. Ooh, this'll be a good matchup. I hope they lose. Nice. Okay, we're going three. So now he needs to just be better than him. Anything he needs for motivation. Nice. 
Oh, yeah, nice. I mean, that happens. <laughs> Nice touch. Oh, dang. All those diving drills, baby. No. Okay, first of all, as soon as he said, oh, this guy's the closest to the little giant, we all knew that Hinata was gonna make it personal because heaven forbid if anybody is the little giant except him. Secondly, that was an outstanding touch on the block and then turn, albeit slightly unrealistic. That thing, he was in the front blocking and that thing was by the bench. If anybody should have gotten it, it should have been Noya, okay? It was like right where he was standing. Anyways, but the thing that's even more unbelievable was the fact that he then got up and hit a quick attack after getting that ball near the bench. Somebody explain this to me. Okay, again, I love Haikyuu. I love it. They are usually incredibly realistic. That play, however, I'm drawing a hard line. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're back. <laughs> Takeda's <laughs> down for the count. Go, 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 go. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh. He needs to stop this comparison. Oh my gosh, these guys like are the best teammates ever. Okay, I was thinking the same thing. Like, dude, okay, if every single thing you do, you're comparing yourself to Daichi, you are just gonna drive yourself crazy, okay? You are your own player, you bring your own skills to the game, and all of you watching out there, I hope you're taking notes. This isn't just about Anoshita, it's about you too. Okay? Um, yes, comparison is like the worst thing ever. Okay, everybody has their strengths and weaknesses, 
but if we're always focusing on how we don't measure up to somebody else, then we're never gonna be able to live to our potential. So Anoshita just needs to embrace the role he's in right now, try his best, and he brings his own strengths to the table, so he needs to stop it. And I love that Tanaka called him out like that. <laughs> Oh, nice swing. Nice touch. Good hustle. Yes. あの、ちょっといいですか。あの 1番 That was gonna be my suggestion. Have the person playing in middle back go a little bit deeper and stand up to try to like react to the touch instead of being low, expecting the hard swing. So I'm just gonna say, I think that I am the Haikyuu genie these days, okay? Give your girl a lamp to fly out of, give me a crystal ball, you know, whatever. A fortune teller, who knows? I am it. Okay, everything that's happening here, your girl's predicting it. So, what can I say? I just held my breath for a long time. They made it look like he wasn't gonna get there. Oh, recycle. Nice. That was smart. That's what I was wondering. I'm so proud of him. Ah. Ah. 
出来上がっているコート内の空気に完全に溶け込むことはできないそういう気持ちが目の下にあったように思うでも今のプレーでなくなったんじゃねえかな今のプレーか自分で考え仲間に伝えて実行するそういうプレーは自信になるもんだなるほどつい最近まで特別強くも弱くもない目立たないチームだったまさに小さな巨人身長のことを気にし始めた頃こういう道があるのだと教えてくれた試合カラスの10番あの時の小さな巨人と同じ背番号を背負うやつバクーまずはお前を倒していくだいぶ高いブロック。おお。はい、ちょっと待ってください。おお、my gosh。そんなに15ですね。Come on, joust. Yeah, baby. Nope, somebody's going to cover it. No. Tabi needs to stop. I knew it. Uh, I, I'm really antsy. I'm like, my legs are bouncing all over the place. I just can't relax because I am very worried and very invested in who wins this game. And even though I don't want to like Takeru, I do. So this is like, obviously I'm a Karasuno fan till the death, but I mean, Takeru's pretty good. And he's a, and he's a good guy, right? That guy is like 27. Okay. They're going to use the back attack. The pipe is going to be a weapon at some point. Oh dear. Okay, I thought they were going to 15 in the tie break, but never mind. Okay. 
いいぞ。No! Ugh! Yes, Noya. Set us all This is the play they prepared for. He's got it, and Osha's there. See? <laughs> Can you see the hairs all over my arms? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Okay, I almost teared up because I was just so proud of everybody. Um, but like, I'm, I'm actually surprised that Kageyama chose to go to Hinata twice at the end there because um, I saw he didn't really get set much. Inoshita scored when it counted, even though he was making mistakes. But like, I am surprised at Kageyama's choices, especially because teams are like focusing on Hinata when he's in the front row. But anyways, well, girl, no matter what, they won. And I'm so proud of them. I almost started crying when they won. Um, seeing the other team cry is so sad and it makes me like think of winners and losers, but not in the same way because they aren't like describing it in such detail. But like, oh, that was a battle. Estate. Oh. I got confused. Forget that. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> あ、今ちょうど会社入ってやってるんだっけ。20点目くらいから見てたよ。
いとこが勝ち上がってこようが戦ってやるって思えよバカクロクソクソクソおそう、sad. I mean, obviously, Daichi is like the best and like made sure to hang back and give him the compliments that he deserved. But like, my heart does break a little bit for him just like seeing that, you know? Oh. Okay, that was exciting and had me very stressed.、Um, I mean, you all know how I think about it, what I think about Anoshita. I think he did great.、Um, I'm wondering if Yamaguchi is sad because he didn't get a chance to come in in that game. And maybe he thinks that he lost his opportunity because he played it safe in the set before. I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out. But. This next matchup is going to be great. <sighs> I'm down to see either matchup, but like I want them to beat Seijo. So, like, I mean, I'm neutral, but I'm really, really glad that they advanced.、Oh, just thinking about Takara and how sad he was after, it's like sport is so fickle in that, like, unless you're the winner, you. Can find any number of reasons to beat yourself up, be sad, be hard on yourself, think it's your fault, whatever. And I feel like the only people or teams that don't find themselves in that position are the ones who win. So seeing him so upset and thinking about that last swing and stuff, it's like, I've been there. But he played amazing overall, and it doesn't just come down to that one play. but... I can relate to that feeling so much of just like, you can still play amazing, but if you lose, you're just gonna like keep replaying everything in your head. So my heart is broken for him. I think he's awesome. I think that was a really strong team. So I'm like glad that Karasuno won. But I am so pumped to move on.、Um, I'm curious what's going to happen. I'm assuming Daichi is going to play the next match because like, he is the captain, he's a typical starter, but we'll see what happens. So hit me up in the comments with your thoughts on this episode and anything I may have missed or that you're looking forward to in the coming episodes. And I would love it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time for more Haikyuu. Thanks.